Hello, everybody, and welcome to the IPC product launch for South Africa's top cleaning equipment and cleaning solutions provider, Goscore Cleaning Equipment. It's really not hard to appreciate why they are South Africa's top quality cleaning equipment provider. They are always ahead of the curve and always putting you as the customers first. Take today's product launch. Yeah, we are streaming it to you wherever you may be in the country, or in actual fact, wherever you may be in the world. So thank you very much for joining us. Trust me, you're going to find it both exciting and uh, super informative. And it's great to catch up with, uh, with you guys again. Greg, Peter, it's been, it's been a while. It has been a few years. Tough times, but happy times. Business looks like it's doing well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, 2020 was a was a tough time for most for, yeah, for most companies. Um, but yeah, we've come out of it. Yeah, come out of it reasonably well, and um, excited about the new things happening in the business. What's also exciting though is for we're promoting new technologies, doing things different. A product launch is a live stream. You've been incentivizing your customers to share the video so they can join in the exciting news with the launch of IPC. But you're incentivizing them too, putting your customers first with a really cool competition. Yeah, Morris, we've been asking everybody to share the, the uh, video link uh, for this live launch. Um, we've uh, got a prize of a new IPC vacuum cleaner that we're we, um, going to give away to the value of about 2,000 Rand. And yeah, we're excited about the product. So we want to try and get this, yeah, this launch to as many people as possible so they can start buying this exciting product that we're bringing into the country. Well, the very cool thing about that is we are going to be announcing the winner at the end of our stream today. So don't log out. You don't want to be missing the chance of winning that cool vacuum cleaner. And we're going to be talking about it a little bit later, Peter, when we start breaking down the various products. But I think one of the strengths for Gascore Cleaning Equipment has always been offering a complete cleaning solution for your customers, but having a great base of top class equipment. Now you get to welcome IPC to the family. It's exciting times for, for you guys as a business. Very exciting, Maurice. And yes, another quality brand joining our stable um, as 10 and second cousin. Um, we, we, we know the roots, um, we, we know the, the support we'll receive from the, from the supplier, and then obviously the, the support we as Gosco um, have been providing to our customers and that they've become accustomed to. So, so yes, very exciting. This product will um, allow us to reach segments of the market that we traditionally haven't been that strong in. Um, so yes, very excited to take this to our clients. Look, I mean, we're going to talk about that a lot more during, uh, during today's launch in terms of where it all fits in, the price points, and obviously knowing the relationship you guys have had with your customers over years, it's business as usual in terms of top quality service. But it's been quite cool coming back to the showroom, I think it was 2018 when you unveiled it, Greg, and it is looking, well, it's looking clean, it's looking good. So we're excited to hopefully bring a lot more customers into, into the showroom and uh, understand the quality of the equipment that we do supply. And I think what's cool is well, a lot of customers might not realize just the extent of your your model lineup and what you are able to offer. So seeing it in the showroom like this, there really is a, is a lot for them to look at and choose. Now obviously a lot of things have, have changed and one of the big things I've noticed that has changed is you guys now have a, a bud on your side. I know he would have loved to have joined us in studio to catch up with us uh, live, but we can do this via technology now. So we've got Neil Wilson, who is the bud industrial CEO, as well as Gosco Group CEO. Unfortunately, sitting in his home in Bryanston in quarantine, but he can join us via our Zoom chat. Neil, there are a lot of positive things about you, but luckily your COVID test result isn't one of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, my COVID uh, test result was a positive one. So I'm uh, isolating at home. Fortunately, I'm not particularly ill, but uh, I am uh, COVID positive. So I'm staying away from everybody. Thank you for doing the, the good thing and staying in quarantine. It would have been great to have had you in studio nonetheless. But, but Neil, where do, we, where do we start with you? I think maybe the best thing is to explain how Goscore Cleaning fits into the bigger Goscore group. Right. So Goscore Cleaning has been a business that has been around pretty much from the start of Goscore, which was founded back in the, in the early 80s uh, by George Siddle. And uh, it was one of the businesses that was bought out of what was then Barlow Rand and uh, was in fact run together with a business, uh, our, little, our forklift business. So uh, that has now um, grown and clearly the, uh, the gospel cleaning business now, and for many years, over 20 years, has run as an independent business focused on supplying quality cleaning equipment into the uh, commercial and industrial space in, in Southern Africa. 
Uh, it runs as an independent company and has done for many years uh, and represents a few quality brands. Now, I was chatting with Greg and Peter a few moments ago and talking about there's a new name uh, on the streets, and that is obviously Bud. Um, I've obviously worked with, uh, with Gosco over the years, and, and, and Bud was something that was new for me. So just explain uh, how Bud facilitates the business setup for Gosco Cleaning. So, look, the Bud tie and the Bud group is a very new group. Um, it's only been around uh, just under three years now and uh, is a, a, a group that was built with the vision to build a truly South African diversified entrepreneurial uh, business that is both got quite some scale and relevance in the, in the industries in which they operate. So the gospel group as itself was a great fit in that um, always run as a very entrepreneurial de decentralized businesses and uh, within within uh, gospel that's how we operate and within the bud group that's exactly how we operate so we we try to keep that entrepreneurial spirit that entrepreneurial flair that you can maintain in a decentralized type environment we we try and keep that within our um within our group and so gospel cleaning as part of gospel and gospel as part of bud uh, was a great fit. Yeah, it, f it feels to me like just how you're explaining that now, there's a, there's a really good family feel about how everything works. And it's like, you do your business, you're brilliant at what you do, let us help you do it even better, I suppose. You know, the power of being part of a, a, big, uh, a, a big group like Bud is, is the, the, the financial muscle it brings, but also the skills and expertise that we can tap into in the broader group. You know, there are a lot of like-minded people in the organization. You can bounce ideas off and clearly also get, um, you know, help each other in, out there in the business, in the competitive business world, uh, where there are uh, leads we can help and, and share with each other and introduce to, uh, to our customer base. So it is a, it's a powerful combination <clears throat> and um, it's, been a, it's been a successful marriage. I'm also imagining, I mean, it's been, unprecedented times for for industry and i suppose having that collective brain power and people that have been in the industry in their various forms for a long time has probably helped to to pull brands through in challenging times like this it certainly has and you know i think um you know in the COVID world we've learned a lot from each other <clears throat> we share our experiences share our challenges and, uh, and, and, and help each other through it and learn from each other. So it really has been hugely powerful and um, you know, nice to know that we are part of a, a big uh, organization with a strong balance sheet that can not only support you through tough times, but where there are opportunities, you can grab those opportunities. Well, Neil, listen, thank you very much for, for joining us. You spoke about tough times for you and the family, obviously going through a tough time at the moment. But uh, we wish you uh, a speedy and, uh, and healthy return to, to good ways so you can get out of quarantine and, uh, and join the real world again. Uh, thank you, Maurice. Thanks. And uh, uh, good luck with the, the rest of the launch. I'm quite excited by the product. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a new chapter for the gospel cleaning business. So be very excited about it. Um, so uh, thanks very much. Perfect. Thanks again, Neil. Of course, we do wish Neil and his family all the very best and a speedy return to health. Greg, this is just doing things differently. It's amazing how quickly we can adapt as humans to, to change. I mean, Zoom meetings, Microsoft Teams, doing business remotely has become the new norm. And that's something that you guys, as Gospel Cleaning Equipment, have had to deal with as well, like all of us. What have been some of the challenges and some of the learnings for you guys as a business? Well, Morris, I think the first thing for most businesses, I think everybody went back to basics. You know, really looked at what is the integral part of the business, what is the most important part. And um, yeah, for us, the other thing was you know, talking to our customers. You know, we've always been a company that loves having face-to-face -face time with our customers. We love doing demos. We love getting out there, showing the, you know, what a machine can do. And it's been difficult not to be able to do that. Um, so we've had to try and change a few things. We've had to try and do a few demo videos. And then also from the business point of view, you know, our branches used to wait for me to get down there and to make decisions and move forward. You know, now we talk to each other on a m much more regular basis. We talk, you know, because of the new systems that we've set up, 
you know, we can make decisions a lot quicker, we can make sure that we are all in touch on a, on a regular basis. And that's been the, the biggest challenge, is, is talking, to our, talking to our people and our customers you know, differently. But I imagine as well also understanding in times like this, it's all good and well when things are going well. But under challenging times, the conversations you might be having with your customers now are very, very different in terms of how do we retain them? How do we offer them a new package that's going to really suit their needs now in tough times? No, exactly that, and that's exactly why we're so excited about the IPC range. You know, because it just fills a lot of the gaps, it fills a lot of the market segments we never got into, but also the price point of the IPC, bringing it from Europe as opposed from USA, helps us you know, help our customer with the cost of cleaning. Peter, I mean, you mentioned earlier, and listening to what Greg's saying now as well, you were talking about how exciting it is for you heading into new markets. Is it purely a price point thing, or is it also that maybe the IPC range that you're bringing in might fill some gaps that you had in the, in the tenant offering? More or less a combination of both factors. Um, in our industry, um, price has always been sensitive. Customers are always looking at ways to reduce their um, costs to clean. Um, so yes, we can, we, with the IPC lineup, it can slot in, in gaps where, the, where um, some of our tenant models didn't, uh, didn't fill. So, Customers may sometimes seek um, a machine down on specification, but not down on performance with the um, assurance that the, it's a quality product backed by a quality company um, uh, with uh, necessary spare parts holdings, service support, um, everything all our current customers have been accustomed to um, from Gosco. We're definitely going to touch on, on that, the parts and the holdings, because we'll chat to Wesley about that later. But I'm glad you brought up the bit about the trusted company. I mean, you guys have been in business, I think now is your birthday, 37 years. So it really doesn't matter what brand is being offered. People trust Costco cleaning equipment. That must be crucial in how you do business. Exactly that, Maurice. Um, we've, uh, it's th the brand we are building is, is Costco. So that's the brand the customers trust and they trust us to provide them with quality products uh, backed by quality support, uh, quality components and ultimately reducing downtime and having the lowest cost of ownership over the term. So that's what we all, we've always tried for. And uh, I think up to now, our customers have been, been, been happy with, uh, with, with our support and uh, the reliability they get of, out of our um, um, brands. So, so yes, hoping to continue that with, uh, with IPC. Now, yeah, we're sitting and talking about IPC, but I think for many of you, you might not know about the Italian-based integrated professional cleaning company. They are massive players in the cleaning space, especially in the European markets where they do 80% of their business. But honestly, you don't need to hear this from me. I'm going to let IPC do the talking. My name's Giovanni, and I've been working at IPC for over 20 years. I'm here to tell you about our company, because I know it well. I've grown up in IPC, and it's where I like to come back to every morning. Our business is about the spaces around us, and the people who work every day to keep those environments clean and hygienic. We like to listen to our customers. We work with them and for them. Innovation, research and respect for the environment help us find concrete solutions and answers based on their real needs. Our outstanding professionalism and our extensive distribution network have made us one of the leading groups worldwide in the manufacture of cleaning tools and equipment. Here in IPC we believe that you can only truly call a place clean if it has been done with respect for nature and the greater environment. That's why we never get tired of finding innovative solutions that, every day, help us reduce the consumption of water and energy, and why we always use recyclable plastics. We've been doing it for 30 years. We offer a wide range of products, and they've proven their effectiveness in many applications. Urban spaces, public buildings, hospitals, restaurants, shopping centers, factories, and much more. We never stop working to improve. Our engineers are constantly experimenting with new materials and technologies to make our products more efficient. Our goal is to create effective and sustainable solutions. We are able to help all of our customers thanks to our vast selection of products, from manual equipment such as trolleys, ringers, squeegees and microfiber mopeds, to powered tools 
such as scrubbers, sweepers, vacuum cleaners, and professional pressure washers. From necessity arise ideas, and ideas give birth to our products, which are 100% Italian. They are the result of the work of more than a thousand cleaning experts. We design and manufacture every component, and we create innovative designs. We study their ergonomics and ease of use. We really care about people, people who put their trust in us every day. Each product, every tool and piece of equipment is subjected to rigorous testing to evaluate and calibrate its efficiency. Quality is very important to us. Our products must work hard and last long. We love our products, which are born from technology and innovation, but most of all, from our experience and the passion that we put into what we do every day. Ours is a world of people, a clean world. I love it. No doubt a pucky Italian business there. I thought he was going to hop on a Vespa. The only thing I really think they should do is make espresso machines. That would be amazing. Or maybe they do. Why don't I ask Otto Reino, who's joining us from Italy, as uh, the dealer principal for both IPC and Tenant. So, what is life looking like in Italy? So, uh, I have to ask you, um, um, come stai, uh, which means uh, everything okay with you. Uh, situation here is, um, I have to say, fortunately, much better than it was a few, a few weeks ago. So, the, the infection rate is going down. Uh, restaurants open, uh, we saw now a lot of uh, tourists, uh, so that means uh, Italian um, economy uh, is recovering. Now in summertime, it's a very important time for Italy. Weather is good. You make me want to go to Italy, I, I love it. The people are always so good and summertime is a good time, but I'm very happy to hear that business is getting back to normal and infection rates are down because that's an important question you know for ipc is everything back to normal in the factory is production levels back to uh, what they should be now yeah, um, i have to say you will not believe but um, i did see that uh, last year in 2020 the best year ever so um, yeah, this uh, is to explain that um, IBC was working very hard on special equipment uh, against the pandemic, uh, special high pressure uh, units, um, uh, special um, dose systems for um, disinfection liquid, um, high uh, hot water spraying systems, and, and, and. and all together with the combination that um, IBC uh, management didn't put people to short-term working model, uh, it was fantastic. Uh, they could deliver machines in time. And against the mainstream, um, IBC did a fantastic job, which was also helping tenants because with the heavy uh, duty and with the big machines equipment, it was not so easy in the, in the previous year. I imagine everyone is very aware nowadays of health, hygiene and cleaning. So I guess even with the thing like the pandemic and COVID, there's, there's, there's positive business opportunity if you're able to service that sector. Yes, um, uh, I think uh, the most important thing is that uh, the international European governments uh, recognize how important cleaning and hygiene is because with machines you have in IBC, so I'm speaking from the smaller and mid-sized professional cleaning machines, a lot of customers are institution, institutional companies and uh, let's say schools, universities and hospitals and whatever. And now the governments are giving much more uh, money uh, to, to these um, institutions to buy the machines. And so we, we really can see in IBC that the business was going up uh, enormously in the last year. 
But you can also see that this was helping enormously against uh, the infection rate. So in the schools and in the hospitals, everything is now really fine. And um, IBC was one of the first companies that recognized that this is the right way to do it uh, like that. Explain to us with, with tenants buying IPC, how does that affect the, the business? Tenant company um, is a really well-known um, producer of uh, heavy-duty industrial equipment for cleaning. Um, was or had always problems in the, in the section with the smaller and mid-sized machines. So that means uh, tenant uh, was delivering to heavy industry, to ports, to airports and everywhere, but they never had the right product for, let's say, uh, schools, offices, smaller industry, and then, and then. And then four or five years ago, in my opinion, the, the tenant US management took a very wise and good decision for the whole tenant group to buy the IBC brand. The IBC brand is a brand which has which is covering around five um, factories, and um, these factories are producing cleaning machines, uh, walk behinds, ride ons, and sweepers. They are also producing um, um, cleaning tools, uh, mops, trolleys, high pressures, window cleaning systems. So all the things tenant never had. At the beginning, there was a, let's say, a lot of people uh, were saying, no, this is not uh, fitting to tenant company. Um, I'm sorry to say that, but normally the quality of uh, Italian products in the cleaning sector is not the best, uh, not having the best reputation in the world. But I have to say, when tenant bought IBC, already the IBC machines had a very, very high uh, standard of uh, quality and uh, also the performance was very well. Now, after five years, Tenant was investing a lot of efforts and money to bring that um, even further. And now with an IBC machine, you have a Tenant machine for, let's say, smaller applications. And this is the good thing. Now, when you are in the tenant family, you have everything. You have the big uh, monsters, as we are saying, for cleaning, uh, um, for cleaning uh, solutions in, in heavy industry. And you have the smart cleaning machines now um, from IBC, also uh, a part of the tenant family. And I also have to say, we are very happy from tenant company and very proud to have such a partner like the Costco Cleaning Group as our partner, as our exclusive partner for both brands, for the for regional tenant brand and for the IBC tenant brand, because even smaller equipment like the IBC equipment is only working with the best service and i have to say i learned that one of the main um, strength of the Costco company is the fantastic uh, service organization and this together with the very experienced uh, sales staff the very very good management and the management ibc i think it must be or it has to be a story of success in the future for Goscore Group. Here in South Africa, they know Goscore, they know tenants, and now they're going to get to know IPC. I've only got one problem, and this is my final question to you. You know, IPC, an Italian brand, why do they not make an espresso machine? They are, um, to, to drink uh, regularly, everyday uh, um, uh, espresso, uh, you have to be an Italian guy. Because if you are doing that as a South African guy or as a North European guy as myself, you get extremely uh, problems uh, with the heart. So your heartbeat is going up. And then you see additionally then 
uh, Bella Ragazza in Italy, nice ladies in Italy, it will be, uh, yeah, it will be game over. So that's one of the main reasons. It would be a good business, but you cannot have everything. Listen, Otto, thank you so much for taking the time yeah. out to have a chat to us uh, in Italy. And uh, I hope things go well there. And uh, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was a pleasure and an honor for me. And I wish you all the best. Uh, of course, health, but also a lot of luck and success. Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's really cool. Thanks for your time, Otto. And of course, this is a real feather in the Gascore cleaning cap, and I guess a testament to the team's strong service-focused approach that they're able to represent here in South Africa both brands. You heard Otto raving about it. This is big news for Gascore cleaning equipment. No, very much so, Morris. Yeah, we are the only company or only dealer in the in the in the world to be given both brands. Most of the other countries have uh, two different dealers looking off at one of the brands. And Gosco, you know, um, have been given the opportunity to sell both brands. So we're very excited that, you know, we can fill our market segments with both, uh, with both brands. He's so modest. I mean, that, that's great. I mean, you're talking about big deal. You've obviously, over the 30 years, 37 years of doing business, you've done a good job in terms of looking after your customers and, and managing those relationships. Yeah, well, it's, and, and I think also the testament to managing the relationship with our dealer principal and with the, you know, with the OEMs as well. But, um, yeah, it, it goes about looking after customers. It's always been part of the, the strong Gosco focus is the aftermarket and after-sales service. We don't just want to bring products in. We want to make sure that these products work and that they are what the customer wanted at the end of the day. Peter, so obviously now with tenants buying out IPC, it's business as usual for you guys here as Gosco in South Africa in terms of the supply chain and who you deal with. Yes. That, that's strong for your business. Absolutely, Marius. Um, for, for us, nothing, is, nothing much has changed on that front. We deal with the same people at Tenant, We're the same people in, in Otto's team for our shipping of our spares, our ordering process, um, our problem resolving, our warranty claims. So everything remains the same. Same trusted relationships that we've been uh, accustomed to with tenant are still in place. So, so nothing much has changed and nothing much will change to our customers. It's like that, that term, I actually hate it, business as usual, because it sounds like oh, this is business as usual. But in your case, it is. You know, you've offered exceptional service over the years. And how you run your business now, whether you're servicing your customers with tenant or IPC, nothing has change, which is, which is really exciting. I think it's time for us to stop talking about IPC and talk about the business and start meeting uh, the products. So obviously, Gosco Clean Equipment have focused on what is going to work in our market and brought in a product lineup that really is going to suit your needs. What we've done to simplify this little walk around on the launch is we've split them into three distinct product segments, starting with our commercial equipment. We then have the floor care equipment. And finally, your high-pressure cleaners. Peter, it seems like the commercial equipment would be a good place to start our discussion about the IPC range. What have you brought to market here? Maurice, we are bringing in a, a, a range of models across their professional um, range um, of vacuum cleaners, and it all starts with the Eco LP1-12. This is the, the prize as well that we're giving away. Exactly. This is, this is the prize, a nice, small, little, maneuverable, um, ergonomic little vacuum cleaner. I'm sure our customers will be delighted to, to take ownership of one of these. Who uses this? So what's the application? So this machine, we're focused at the hospitality industry, um, the food services industry, and our contracting industry. So cleaning of offices, um, uh, Hotels, etc., yeah. etc. Et the ergonomics on this unit—it's very maneuverable, very lightweight, um, mm. easy to use in staircases. You can flip this upside down so it can be positioned on a staircase um, for use in offices. It only gets up to 63 decibels, so nice and quiet. Um, onboard storage for all the accessories that um, you need to move around with. Any any cool features about this? Because I know with IPC, there's a lot of eco-sustainability stuff that they're using in recycling products. Is that the case throughout their range? Yes, for, for, for those vacuum cleaners manufactured out of plastic, they use up to 75% re recycled plastic. That's amazing. Uh, there are some units that are available with stainless steel tanks, which obviously that percentage drops. 
No, maybe I need one of these for home. You're hiding another machine, so what's the difference? I mean, besides the obvious in terms of size. That's only a dry vacuum cleaner. So the focus with the dry vacuum cleaner is the type of motor uh, that it uses. So we are able to get down to only 63 decibels in that unit, where the construction of a wet and dry vacuum cleaner is more powerful, a lot more noisy, uh, because of the fact that it uh, takes in its own cooling air. But this one, the focus of this little machine is on automotive industry, your DIY guy, construction industry. Um, the DIY guys will love this little feature. It's a power tool connection point that works simultaneously, allows your power tool to work with your vacuum cleaner. Um, that's cool. That's, that's very cool. Also has a bag full indicator, so a little light goes on telling you when the bag's full time to exchange it. Over and above that, with a touch of one button, you clean your, it auto cleans its own filter. So, um, so it's perfect for a lazy guy like me. Perfect, Morris. So this is not the entire lineup. We've just earmarked a couple of the products, but there's a lot more that you guys can go and have a look at. And obviously the great thing there is chat to the sales representatives in the various regions to assist you with that. Let's have a look now at the floor care range. Peter, I'm imagining that this floor care range is going to be the bulk of your business as Gosco Cleaning. Yes, without a doubt, Marius, as a, as a collective across our brands, our floor care range uh, contributes to over 90% of our, of our revenue. So it's a, it's a big portion of our market. So now with IPC, I'm assuming you've brought in, we've got three here, but there's a lot more that's available. Yes, we have, we have uh, um, across the range, our, our sweepers, our scrubbers, starting from a little micro scrubber through the CT30 up to these big boys behind us. Uh, we have quite a range, quite a versatile and adaptable range as well. So let's go with the obvious question then. I mean, you've had Tenant for years. How does this then plug in to what Tenant offers? Are there things here that IPC do differently? Yeah, as, 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 as a good reference point is our um, little ride-on sweeper, mid-size ride-on sweeper. We were never able to have an offering from Tenant that included a little petrol ride-on, okay. which, which now IPC provides us, which is priced at the correct price point. Um, previous offerings, the battery and the diesel offerings, offering come with a higher price tag, so we're able to service that sector of the market. It sounds like we are reviewing cars, petrol, diesel, I know electric technology, the EVs is new in the motoring world, but I'm assuming you're able to offer all of those applications in this range? Absolutely, Marius. We, we have to, as our application um, would dictate what, what is required. For instance, in the food industry where zero emissions are required, we have to go with battery operated machinery. Well, just what I've seen, yeah, I think you guys are actually gonna, so cheesy. You're gonna clean up in the segment. I guess we are. <laughs> right, time to chat about high pressure cleaners. Now, Peter, IPC comes with over 50 years experience in this field. What makes them so good? Well, it's, it's testament to the versatility of their product range. It caters for all segments of the market in, uh, within the high pressure cleaning industry. Um, the durability, the robustness, and the adaptability. You guys are focusing quite specifically in certain sectors yet, because I mean, it, I don't imagine you need to bring the entire range out. You guys know what's gonna work and sell in our market. Yes, absolutely. We've decided to focus on the premium range of equipment, focusing within the agriculture, the automotive industry in particular, um, as we touch lightly on the food industry, and then obviously the heavy industry. Now the obvious question for me, um, not all water is the same in South Africa these days. How does a machine like this cope with that? Because obviously there must be settings for the hardness of the water. Are they able to deal with our water and European water? If, if there are two absolute necessities for any pressure washer is, is clean potable water and uh, stable um, electricity supplies. So the, the Galaxy that's featured featured here as a um, anti-scale device, which perfectly doses the water tank to, to soften the water. So this just makes it so much easier for you, something you don't have to worry about. Exactly. So that limits maintenance costs on that because lime scale in your water results in buildup in the coil, which results in overpressure, extra maintenance costs. So that just enables us to limit the, the maintenance spend on the machine. Now, you guys certainly have got all the bases covered with the RPC range. 
Now, I mentioned this earlier about just how crucial backup and support is in this market. And I think it's because of Goscore Cleaning Equipment's proven track record that they've been entrusted with the IPC product offering for the Southern African region. But I know from my motoring experience that not all work environments are the same. What works in Europe isn't really going to work in South Africa, which is why I think it's quite good to bring Wesley in at this point, because you've now had the RPC products, you've played with them, you've tested them, you've worked with them in our environment. Thumbs up, all good? Most definitely, yes. Um, we've been blessed to have them for a little while and kick and feel and play, put some batteries in, run them through the workshop, a showroom floor, the different environments. And uh, I can, I can give great feedback. I think they've, uh, they've got a good, good quality to them. Now, we've obviously chatted about the various product offerings across the range. We've got a couple of them displayed here. What for you is like a standout feature about IPC? Because I'm thinking here in terms of maintenance. We've spoken about how brilliant they are from a reliability perspective. What makes it easy to operate an IPC unit? Well, I think exactly the same as Tenant. You know, they've made it very easy for operators. So for, for both parties, customer and, and ourselves on the technical side, um, ease of operation is great. The yellow touch points for, for ease of operation, daily check sheets or daily check points um, for operators really makes life a lot easier for both parties. So, yeah, that for me has really stood out. Now, we were, we were chatting off camera earlier and you were showing me just how easy it is to access some of these things. Maybe with a tenant unit, it's kind of like in the old days with Land Rover. If you want to take it in for a service, you've literally got to lift the body off to get in it. It doesn't seem like that's the same with with the IPC stuff? No, on a, they've made it quite easy and I can show you quite quickly. Um, there's a little... Well, it better be quick, otherwise, yellow point. otherwise what I'm talking about is... <laughs> there's a yellow touch point on the, the left here and it literally just tilts back like so. It's got a support arm on this cable or the arm there where we can rest the, the, the top body on. Um, we've got access to brushes, we've got access to motors, um, all the fuses, so everything is quite compact and, and available to the... It's, quite, it's, 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 quite, it's actually quite incredible. I mean, I'm not yeah. technically minded at all, but if I look at that, this doesn't seem intimidating. Not at all. And that's important. Warranties, I mean, I know you guys obviously offer that with a tenant range. Is that now applicable with, with IPC as well? Yes, so they've, we've been fortunate for them to, to meet sort of the tenant standards and, and give the same warranty. So that, that sort of runs hand in hand, which makes our lives a lot easier. I suppose that's what we've been kind of talking about a lot during this product launch, is that people know you guys, they know tenant so it's quite easy to take them down the road of IPC as well because it all falls under one umbrella. Most definitely. Wesley, thank you so much. We mentioned earlier 37 years that Goscore has been around and I think it's because of that reliability, their customer service and their ability to look after your needs as customers is why they've been so successful in the game. Uh, I want to wrap things up and I've got our, our panel lined up. They're all looking like this is going to be a firing squad. It's not. Happy, exciting, great product, great times. I've got a couple of questions I want to ask them. Obviously, for you guys sitting watching our stream, if there are any questions relating directly to your specific needs, please feel free to drop us an email. That address is on the screen, cleaning at goscore.co.za. Of course, the Goscore team and sales re representatives will get in touch with you to uh, answer any of your unique questions. What I'm going to ask them now are just a couple of questions that came to me that I thought might be quite relevant. Greg, we spoke earlier and we heard from Otto as well. You can't plan for everything in the industry. We've had COVID, no one saw that coming. Suez Canal, a boat blocks the lineup, crazy. You are bringing product into the market that's imported. How crucial is it to ensure that you do have a product lineup here? It's been very, very challenging. Um, uh, the, the shipping to South Africa in the last few weeks has, uh, and months has been a, a massive challenge. And uh, we've you know, delayed the, the launch so that we can launch this with stock. So yes, we're happy to tell everybody that there is stock. We've uh, got a nice big full warehouse of the IPC goods, as well as quite a bit of the tenant stock. And um, yeah, we, we're good to go to start you know, delivering these to customers. Greg, that's good news. But Wesley, it's all good and well having the product. But we've spoken about maintenance, reliability, how good the IPC product is but you do need parts availability as well to service that. Have you got that? That we have, and uh, we've got more coming, which is great. The interchangeable parts between a few of the models is also um, reducing our necessity for large stock, value, uh, stock amounts, which is great. Um, but also, as we said, the time that we had with these gave us the opportunity to spend, get to know them, um, and also get the right parts. So that's really helped us. It's quite crucial that, I mean, 
Peter, even for you, downtime in this industry is massive for your customers. So being able to give them that peace of mind, because I mean, we certainly laugh. I mean, I love Italian brands in general, but you know, South Africans, I keep going back to the car analogy with Alpha and, and, uh, and Fiat. It's like, geez, you buy them, you love them, but then you sit with the problem when you've got to service them. So it's good that, that you've got all of that available um, and you can ensure that customers are not going to be sitting with machines that are not operational. Yes, that's uh, very important to us and um, for us as a sales team and um, the peace of mind our sales team give to our customers and uh, it's very important for us that our service team and our maintenance can back up at what we sell to the customers and what we promise to our customers. Now what a lot of guys might be wondering watching this launch is that got tenant, got IPC, it feels like a bit of cannibalism going on here. You know, you're not going to be one stealing from the other or Greg, are you confident in terms of the RPC models you've chosen, where they slot in within the bigger picture? Most definitely, Morris. I mean, the IPC range is a massive range. They really have you know, got every single machine under the sun, you know, different scrub heads, different size tanks and that. So we've spent quite a bit of time under, understanding what we can bring in and what will fit into the products that we do sell. So I really believe that you know, a lot of hard work that Peter has done is to make sure that what we do bring in fits into the range that we do have. So we don't have um, the same machine, whether it's Tenant or you know, IPC, that do exactly the same thing. They will fit and complement each other quite nicely. I see that's cool, and I suppose that comes from your years in the game. You know, that's the experience. Like you were saying, you know, having spent time with the machines, Wesley, where, where the replaceable parts are, you guys also know who your consumers are and what, and what their needs are. I think we've got to talk price at this point. Um, is that going to be a real big contributor to the success of the IPC range here? Is that the big differentiator in a way between what you also offer from tenant perspective? Without a doubt, Morris, um, it's, uh, as, as we always say, it's, it's a horses for courses approach. So we, the, the site, the customer's needs, um, the application, um, the duty load will determine what we recommend, when we recommend a tenant, or when we recommend an RPC. As Greg alluded to, um, the RPC largely complements our tenant range and slots in to give the customer that bit more versatility to, to save a buck or two. Um, but it's very site-dependent. Uh, site dependent. Um, so we make our recommendations to our customers based on that. There, <clears throat> there are very, very few models where there is an overlap. Um, and uh, there it's, it's largely will be a price ticket, a customer's budget, um, wh that'll determine w which way we go. But largely, it's a very complementary uh, range to our tenant kit. So uh, I think we'll obviously refine it as we go along, long as the industry did, dictates to us. But I think, I think for now, based on the knowledge we have, our customers' needs, um, we've right-sized our offering according to that very, very cool, guys. Uh, thank you for, for your time. I think it's been cool doing something a little bit different. And like I said to you again, I mean, with these just touch points, we've given you a brief overview of the product range. There will be product videos that you guys can look at online as well. But if you do have any of those questions, again, please drop us an email, cleaning at goscore.co.za. Pretty easy. Uh, hey, before we go, remember we said we had a competition? Well, good news. We do have a winner to announce. So congratulations to our very lucky winner, that IPC Ecobee vacuum cleaner is yours. Nicely done. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please remember, stay healthy, stay safe, but more importantly, stay clean. Enjoy your youth day tomorrow.